皆さんごきげんよう前回の続きからです前回のまとめを冒頭に入れようと思って見直したんですがゲートを通ってここへ来たというだけなのでダイジェストにすらなりませんでしたあと今回のプレイにおける流れを説明するのをすっかり忘れていましたまずはサイドクエストを終えてからメインクエストをプレイしますその方がストーリーが分かりやすくて楽しんでいただけると思いますでは参りましょうなぜか山賊がいたので処しておきました
Enjoying your time in Amber Creek? My family built this place, you know. It was founded when the Borvalders left Borvald a few years after its construction. Olaf wanted something more peaceful. I guess he wasn't the kind of man who wanted to be king. He just happened to be brave and courageous. My family built the mill and helped Olaf build the town. I know every building here like the back of my hand, and I keep them all in good condition. Yes, I recently found something that's been troubling me. I was out logging and I found a note from Yonolf, a childhood friend of mine. It said that the bandits at Stone Ridge Watch were planning to attack Amber Creek. I've been looking for someone to investigate. If you're interested, please let me know. I'll pay you. Great! Please, go to Stone Ridge Watch along the top of the cliffs, far to the southeast. See if you can find the bandits that plan on attacking. Oh, and if Yonolf is somehow alive, Please bring him back here. I'd very much like to speak with him and see him again. Sure, what can I tell you? Several years ago, he was taken, kidnapped. Bandits wanted to hold him for ransom, as his father was a wealthy man. However, before news could even reach his father back in Skyrim, the man died from old age. The bandits gave up on the ransom. We all assumed that Yonald was dead. If he's alive, I want him brought back safely. Please, try to do this, along with stopping the attack, of course. Maybe if he's at the watch, he can help you. Can I tell you anything else? Why can't I, a lumberjack, go to a cliff-topped, bandit-ridden fortress to stop an assault on the village? Hmm. Sure, I've got some training with a sword, but little real combat experience. I wouldn't stand a chance. You, on the other hand, are far more experienced, and I know you can get the job done. Plus, if Amber Creek is attacked, I want to be here to defend it. My family built this town, and I'll be damned if I let it get destroyed. Can I tell you anything else? I have. I warned Yama the instant I found the letter. She tried to reassure me that the town already has enough guards and that it will be okay. I don't think we have nearly enough. If we got attacked, especially by a larger <clears throat> force, we'd be in hot water. You need to stop the attack before it can even occur. Can I tell you anything else? I was selecting lumber, just out of town, when I found the note from Yonolf. He must have left it somewhere he knew I would find it. I didn't even know he was alive. I hope he's okay. Can I tell you anything else? When we were kids, we had these wooden swords that we would spar with, playfully. We hadn't used them in years. When I found the note, it was attached to his wooden sword, which was stuck into the ground. He must have had it with him. Only he would know what that meant. That's how I know he wrote that letter. Can I tell you anything else? Okay, please, hurry. If an attack is imminent, I'd rather it was prevented. A pleasure as always. If you need anything, just let me or Rangar know. I help Rangar around the forge. I'm his apprentice. He hasn't had any children to pass the knowledge on to. I feel honored that he's accepted me to learn everything he knows. I work hard every day to practice the craft. He really does know a lot. Falskar is a complex land. We've had a lot of war and death. Things have been pretty dark the last few years, but I think we'll pull through. After all, Olaf led our people through the treachery when we first arrived here. I'm sure Agnar will do the same for us now. Safe travels. Can I help you? 
Amber Creek is named after the small stream it was built next to. This stream was, at the time, full of a rich mineral called amber. However, over the years the amber was all mined out. The creek slowly expanded and eventually became a large river, like it is today. That amber fueled the growth of the town. Since then, we have adapted to make gold through other means. For some, trade. For others, farming. Then there are those who make gold through craft. Like me with my smithing. The finest weapons and armor. Till next time, friend. Hmm? Aye, but I owe it all to my father. He taught me everything I know. His father taught him, and his father before, and so on. Our family has run this blacksmith since Amber Creek was founded. Though, I fear I have no child to pass my knowledge on to. And I never will. Not after what happened to my wife. But I do have Micaias. I don't think my father would mind that he isn't my son too much. It's about the knowledge, the craft, the skill. All that matters is that I teach someone. And one day, before I die, I'll craft my masterpiece. Just like my father did. Even if it was taken from me. She was visiting Pineway when it was attacked, about 20 years back. She... she didn't make it. She... she was pregnant at the time. I've moved on as she would have wanted me to. But I fear I'm too old to have kids now. Not that I could ever find another woman as beautiful and flawless as my Anneli. Yes. Many years ago, my father crafted the Jarl, Agnar's father, a great warhammer. Years later, when my father passed away, Agnar returned it to my family. We buried it with my father, in his honor. Any blacksmith should rest with the finest of his craft. But, one day we found his grave dug up. The hammer was gone. Stolen by someone. We had no evidence, but I know it was stolen by Garrett. His family was always jealous of mine. Last I heard, he was hiding out at the old Aspenfall Lodge, to the southeast in the Amber Hole. I haven't a clue if he's still there, but it's certainly worth a try. If you can find my father's hammer, I will be greatly appreciative. Alright, what is it you aim to know? Ah, oh, there's nothing to that really. We were skilled blacksmiths. They were not so skilled. They couldn't handle that fact, so they always held a grudge on us. They would try to stop us from doing our work. Steal supplies, tame patches of ore, things like that. But this is by far the most rotten thing Garen's done. Anything else? Probably because they haven't lived in town for a while now. They were always an unpleasant bunch, so nobody around here likes to remember them. He's pulled a stunt like this, so he's probably resorted to banditry or some other form of stealing to get along. He 
if he were to disappear while you were looking for the hammer, I wouldn't exactly mind if you catch my drift. Anything else? Very well. Have a nice day. This isn't the best job, but Amber Creek needs the minerals I dig up, so I do it. Far off in the land of Skyrim. Let me know if you'd like some mead. Great hero that is to save the land and its people. This is the fable of the Dragonborn. Let me know if I can get you anything else. Our hero claims a warrior's heart. Tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. See ya. With a voice wielding power. Odman says his cattle keep running off. A rather odd problem, if you ask me. Rumor is that one of the ancient dragon walls just past the docks has started glowing. I wonder what that could mean. It's an end to the evil. They say that the necromancers all over Falskar are being led by the prior that was thrown out of Bylon Priory a while back. Where be where the dragonborn come? Oh, a few things. Mainly talking with friends or joining them in song and dance. I also enjoy taking walks along the Amber River. The it's so relaxing. We even used to spend time at the hot springs up river. Though lately nobody you'll has gone know, there much. Something is off. It feels so dreadful. Other than that, I sometimes read, though I also think cooking is fun, and I often give lessons to Varina. She's such an adorable little chef. She's getting pretty good, too. Recently, the springs have felt off. It's hard to explain. You go there, and there is simply a feeling of dread or misery. It's usually so bad that you want nothing more than to leave and get away. It only started recently, but I haven't a clue what could be causing it. If you looked into it, I'd be in your debt. We all would. The springs are something this town has enjoyed for a long time, and it would be wonderful to be able to visit them once again. Safe travels! Relax and have fun. Just don't cause any trouble, or Gabriel will throw you out. And if he doesn't, I sure will. Rumor has it the lighthouse is haunted. I say it's just stories made up to keep kids away from the old rotten stone. Vorvald has closed off its walls due to all the bandits. Nobody in, nobody out. Unless you live there, of course. Doesn't sound like fun to me. Bandits cover the land outside of town. A lot of caravans have gone missing, and a lot of people have lost gold because of it. Some people think we're about to go back into war. I hope not. This land has seen too much war. Here, take a look at this. Some of the king's men came by and left this bounty letter. Come back the next time you're in town. It's very I good, sweetie. Like what I've heard. One day you'll be just like Clara. You really think so? Thanks, Dad. Keep it up. That I need it, and it was in the ship that sunk. If only I knew where that ship was. All right, I'll answer as best I can.
Just that it was sold to a merchant many years ago and then lost. Ask Wolf at the docks. He may tell you something useful. And please, if you find it, bring it to me. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. I used to live in Helgen with my wife and kids before it was destroyed. Everything we own is gone, save the clothes on our backs. We tried living out of the woods, but I could barely catch enough for us to eat. I'd heard rumors about this ring of amber. If it's really as big as they say, it will be worth a small fortune to the right people. I need that money to feed my family and rebuild what we once had. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. No. They sold the ring. It isn't theirs anymore. I'm not stealing it from anyone. I'm simply putting it to better use than sitting at the ocean floor somewhere rotting away. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. Just please try to find it quickly. I must get back to my family. My dad says I can be the best cook in Falskar if I just keep practicing. Greetings. Watch out for nasty bandits. Well met. Till later. I manage a lot of the land and policies under Ragnar. I make sure the guards are paid, the taxes are collected and that the people are happy. Though recently I have also been helping many people through the hard economic times. If they can't pay taxes or are at risk of going out of business, I work with them. I help keep Svea's shop, Helena's market stall and even the Reynolders farm running. Though I haven't heard from the Reynolders in a long time, I hope they are right. Annika and Lena Reynolder run a farm just northwest of Borvold. They do most of their trade there, but from time to time they stop by to say hello and trade with the townsfolk here in Amber Creek. Many people here are their friends. However, they haven't stopped by in a long time, and I'm starting to wonder if something has happened to them. I wouldn't be surprised with all this bandit activity lately. I don't mean to order you around, but could you please stop by their farm the next time you're in the area? I just want someone to check in on them and make sure they are right. I'd owe you if you did so. Be careful out there. Honto,は今のクエストを受けたくないんです。でも、ヤルマさんの声と演技が大好きなので、仕方ありません。Okay, as whatever you like. You are a hero in the warrior's heart. Tell you, I tell you. It has been worn by my family in every battle we have ever fought in. It broke my father's heart when we had to sell the ring from it. It's not only a symbol of our family, but of our entire town. It would be great to have it back. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. I'm ready to buy it whenever you do. Need a drink? Amber Mead is the best in all of Falskar, and it's our own special brew. Of course, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. You'll know, you'll know, the Dragonborn is come. You'll be in here. Let me know if you need anything else. <clears throat> uh. 
アンバーの飾り輪についてですがある家族を助けるかこの町の象徴を取り戻すかという選択ですあとこの宿屋の女の子が作る料理には何か特別なものがあったはずですのセリフに字幕を入れる場合そして入れない場合の違いについて説明します BGM との兼ね合いも含めて私が聞きにくいと思ったセリフには字幕を入れていますだいたい男性低音早口こもった性質抑えた演技のキャラクターが該当しているはずですちなみに私はヘッドホンで音声を聞いているのでネイティブ以外の人は同じように感じるはずだと思っています。さて、サイドクエストをたくさん受けましたが、基本的には受けた順番でプレイしていくつもりです。もちろん、目的地が近かった場合などは例外です。
give you that. Out here for days. I was on my patrol when I heard screaming down the road. I rushed over only to find a caravan under assault by bandits. I tried to help, but there were too many. I'm afraid I was wounded during the fight. Took a hefty blow to the stomach. The bandit must have thought he killed me because he moved on. After the fight ended, while they were looting the carts, I overheard them talking. The leader of the group was a dangerous marauder we've been trying to kill for months now called Jarek the Crusher. If you're off to find him, be careful. He and his gang are a dangerous bunch. They're holed up in Mammoth Keep, far to the northeast. If you have any potions you could spare, I'd be thankful. I'm afraid Jarek's hammer prevents magic from doing any good, so I'd need a tonic. This will get me started. Thanks. Now, please, leave me to bury the dead and pay my respects.
killer on the loose. Will <laughs> Whoever did this will it pay. Failed. <laughs> Something's wrong with the hot springs. They feel very bad. I wonder if it has to do with those necromancers. Hello, traveler. The coast may look docile and beautiful, but it's just as deadly as the rest of Falskar. We don't have much lore from before our arrival, but what we do have refers to this place as the Dread Coast. It used to shield the land from the Arctic winds, and was one of the most dangerous places on the entire island. The shoreline is littered with sunken reminders of the treachery that lies behind those calm waves. It's so bad that I'm the only one who still runs a boat to Skyrim, at least officially. The shores also serve as an inlet for swarms of bandits and hired blades, ready to pillage the land and take all that we have left. But I'm probably just making it sound worse than it is. We get by. It isn't always easy, but we make do. Ah, you're looking for Svea. Honestly, I think the Frostrunner's wreck is just off the coast by the ice caves, but I'm not certain. I didn't trust him. He sounds like a good-for-nothing treasure hunter, and like he made up that story about his family. That ring belongs to Svea. Well, actually, no. I'm not alright. I recently found something that's brought up a lot of questions about some old friends. Two friends of my parents. They ran the lighthouse a long time ago. Jana and Avla were friends of my parents when my mother was pregnant with me. A long time ago. They lived in the lighthouse and kept it running, guiding boats in during storms or dark nights. One day, out of nowhere, they left on a trip to Skyrim. A few days later, they were supposed to return by boat, of course. That night, there was a particularly nasty storm, and they never made it home. After they weren't heard from for several days, a guardsman went up to check on them see if they were all right. He was never seen or heard from again, and so rumors arose about that place being haunted. As far as I know, nobody has stepped foot in that place since that guard, and that was damn near 50 years ago. They wanted to, but the guard wouldn't let them. After he disappeared, they got scared and decided it was best to see how things would play out. I was walking on the beach the other day, clearing my head before running a shipment to Skyrim, when I found something. In a small dugout on the beach was a sack of old coins and a letter. These coins, the really old, must have been on that beach for ages, and the letter was from my parents. I think it belonged to Jaina. Why would they hide something like this on the beach? What happened to them? Now I really want to find out. Oh, I couldn't possibly ask you to do that. Nobody knows what's in there. It could be dangerous. I guess if you really want to, I can't stop you. Just be careful, and let me know if you find out what happened to me. Oi there, name's Wolf. I'm the captain of the ship Doctor. I wanted to thank you for helping out. Damned bandits snuck up on us. Now, I also wanted to offer to you the service of my boat. If you need to travel between Falskar and Skyrim, as long as I'm in port, I'll take you. However, it won't be free. 
I wish you could be, but travel simply costs too much these days. It'll be 500 gold a trip. I know it's a bit steep, but I'll shift my schedule for your convenience. Hopefully that's all right. It's the best I can offer. The trip takes less than a day. Just hop on the boat whenever you need to go and I'll get things in order. You can even have the top bunk. Safe travels. ご視聴ありがとうございました。